Hey guys, this is Devin with Hillbilly Networks here. Uh, <clears throat> I don't get a chance to show this much, um, and honestly, because I don't think to, usually because I'm in such a hurry, but <clears throat> this closure is, was fully frozen, and um, there's a number of ways to dethaw one. Uh, one of those is uh, you can use uh, natural heat. You know, you can put it inside of a trailer heat it up slowly, let it thaw out. That's what they say um, you're supposed to do. But um, I've had cases where I've done that and then I've found the tubes already destroyed and I wasted all that time and I just turned around and had to build another closure. Um, so I'm trying something uh, new this time. I'm actually using a combination of an ice pick, which I mean not an ice pick, sorry, a chisel, which you can actually slowly chip away at the ice carefully keep away from your fibers because you're not actually stabbing at it or hitting it you're just kind of sliding it um, and then I'm applying the icer and this the icer is actually breaking down the ice and it's making this come off smoothly kind of like almost like a slushy uh, but anyways I just wanted to show y'all what an outage from water getting in a closure uh, in a blizzard or in snow, it looks like. So that actually worked quite well. Um, I was actually, basically with your chisel, I'm just taking this, and just very lightly scraping. Because this thing is sharp. It will peel the metal off this truck. Um, it actually peeled the metal of the closure when I started to get close to the truck, uh, the basket. Uh, now, that I'm close to the tray and I've got everything cleared off and I'm close to the tubes, I'm obviously not going to chisel anymore because that's going to be, um, that's dangerous. You know, I haven't had anything else go down at this point and I don't want anything else to go down. I want to fix my one customer that went down and not have to have any more problems on top of that. So I had another idea. Hey guys, so you see here a picture of uh, the original part when I chiseled away most of it. Um, there's actually still a little bit of ice there on the front of it. Um, I unfortunately did get a picture at the very end. Um, forgot to. Apologize for that. Um, but actually what I ended up doing is after I chiseled all that away, I ran down to Lowe's and I got a bottle of windshield. Like the Rain-X brand that has the de-icer inside of it. I think this brand was Splash. Something like that. Anyways, I got a whole jug of that. What I did is I came back to the site and I poured that into the top of the closure and I closed it up. I poured it to where it was about three-fourths of the way full. That actually worked extremely well. It ate away most of the ice um, and literally just setting it back there on my truck and then getting in the heat inside my truck, the customer came back up without me even having to re-splice anything. Now in this case, considering that was the only customer that went down, I did re-splice that afterward. I let the customer know I'm gonna go ahead and re-splice this because I think the heat shrink tube may have been bad and it may have allowed some water to get in there and froze because none of the other customers were down. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share that because that's something I've been wanting to try for a while. I had the idea of getting a five gallon bucket and filling it with the icer and making a uh, frozen closure recovery kit and it turned out okay. <laughs>